Good afternoon guys. Toe 81 here with another figure review. Today we're going to be reviewing or updating on a figure collection from the Desigogis. Um, there's three new scopes that came out, or it's the same scope, it's three new releases. We've prior reviewed this purple guy here that's in the Vinyl Wars release. This guy over here, which is PX Exclusives. And the Giant Desigoji, which is in the Vinyl Wars release. You guys want to hear more about those? I made a video of them a couple of months back. Go ahead and check that out. Today, though, we're going to be reviewing this guy right here in the Vinyl Wars, this translucent Vinyl Wars, and this giant Desu for Vinyl Wars. We're going to go ahead and start it off with this translucent fella right here. Very beautiful, very epic figure. There we go, get him into a nice scope here. And as you can see, very awesome. Oh, the the Desu Gozji mold from Marmot is in in me in my eyes the best representation for Desu Goji. I mean, if you're gonna go for something vintage, stylized, you know, this is where you want to be. Um, if you're more into realism, I guess you know, go ahead and stick to X Plus. You know, go watch Rick Isfu's videos. You know, that guy. Rick has some pretty cool stuff too. But to me, in my my collection is all about this kind of stuff right here. I used to have a lot of SH Monster Arts. I've had X Plus, Bandai, and now it's all so boogie. You know, Marmot, Marusan, M1 Go, Walmart, what have you. And um, these guys right here are super epic. Now getting back to the figure, this guy has two, four, five, and six. Six points of reticulation. There's one right here for the tail, one for the head. The only real difference between these guys and the Giants are that these guys have five points of articulation and the Giants have six. We'll go over that in a bit. Let me take you in closer with this guy right here. As you can see, the eyes are very epic looking on this. Very sweet. Yes, sir. Put that into focus for you guys. Sorry about that. He's got gold with red circles. For the pupils, as far as the eyes, golden teeth. It's got some red spray inside the mouth, and then it's a translucent orange vinyl, as you can see right there. You can see right through him, and they spray it very lightly with this black, and then they spray around these patches, his heat patches, with red to give him that burning, burning effect. And uh, let me take my light here to show you what I mean by translucent. Um, you see that? So the black is a very light shade. You can see the light coming through two layers of black paint right there. And it's very op epic. In my collection case, I have a ton of light. So this guy, this guy lights up like fireworks on the 4th of July. Very awesome, very epic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the height on him. We'll measure him together like I've been doing in my past videos, in my last couple of videos. So he stands right at about eight and three quarters I want to say about eight and three quarters inches high so just shy of nine inches okay and as far as for length if you want to know length I'm gonna go from the tip of the head right there to the tail about 11 inches long okay so now we're gonna go to this guy here which I like to call the true print now this is just something that I call them it's not what they're called, it's just I call these guys the True Print. There's two of these guys out so far, which is this guy and the Howler, which I'll be reviewing for you guys in a later video, again with those epic eyes. The difference with this guy is that he has a darker um, gold color inside the, uh, in, in the eye right here, and in the pupil, he's got more of an orange with black uh, circles, so this is very epic. As far as for the teeth, we see some black, some uh, red sprays right there with silver colored teeth the nails on this guy are gold same for the toenails and then we look at those sprayed dorsal fins very epic very nice it's a very glossy looking figure very oil slicky i mean just very nice and they got this yellow and right at the tips they hit it with like it's either a very light spray of red or an orange i want to go with orange and then what they do is they have these templates cut out 
and they put it on the figure, and then they hit it with the yellow, and so they'll hit it with the yellow, and then they'll go around and hit it with an orange, and when they remove the template, boom, you got that. Now, they're not all perfect. I'll go ahead and point something out here, if I could find it on him. He's actually one of the better ones that I'll have. I can't find any real defect on him. I might end up having to show you guys in the next video with the howler, but let me see if I can outline it here for you guys. If you see here, the orange spray is a little higher than the yellow. Now it's just very slightly on this guy. My howler shows it a little better, but I'll be reviewing him in the next video. I'm just waiting for a couple new items to come in. It's gonna be more of a collection video just like this. Also, let me know in the comments, would you guys rather have me show you these figures one by one, you know, one video, one figure per video, or if you like it this way where it's just like the whole collection. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna go to the giant, the giant Desu Goji. Very epic figure here, very sick. Love this thing. Now, like I said before, these two guys are identical when you're talking about the Desu and the Giant Desu. They are identical figures other than the fact that this guy has an extra point of articulation. He's got one in the neck, both arms articulate, both thighs and the tail, but he's got an additional right here. Now I don't really see those as point of articulations. I've told you guys before, they're just um, seams what they use to put the figures together, but you get articulation. I don't like to articulate them because it makes the figure weak. Okay, let me show you the light here, shining around, look at that. Epic, awesome, very sick, very sexual. Oh yeah, suck it easy, Gochi. So one, one thing to note on these guys, this vinyl, this translucent orange vinyl, it's a lot softer than you know, these guys right here that aren't translucent and pretty sure it's because of the vinyl, whatever composition it has or they make, that's pretty much what's up there. Now, let's show you guys this guy a little closer here. You can see his eyes, very menacing glare right there. Bam. Now he's got the same scheme as the other one, gold in the eyes with just the red circles on the inside very nice except this guy's got gold teeth well i guess the other one has the gold teeth too sorry about that but it's the same pretty much the same technique that they used for the other one here get this back down same technique orange vinyl they sprayed around here and just left this empty spot and then they sprayed a little bit of red just to give it that burning effect and then on the inside of the dorsal place to note it's got a little shot of red on each plate and on the inside ones too. Oh, let me see something real quick. Yes, it also has it on the inside of the plates as well. Very awesome, very epic. Marmot comes through again. Now, as far as for their header cards, they're all identical. All identical header cards, you know, Vinyl Wars. Each, each time that there's a new release, it's gonna be the same, you know, difference. And to help me keep from making any mistakes and uh, mixing things up I like to go ahead and do this so I'll show you right here now here we got three identical cards right these are all vinyl wars cards so what I'll do is that I'll write in a piece of paper so this one says true print desu so I know that this belongs to this guy here you go right here and see, there's nothing really there that's going to tell you what he is. It's a closed mouth Desugoji, but if you have more than one Desugoji, you're going to have a problem. This one here says translucent orange Desu, so I know that that's him. Now, if you look at that card, it says Desugoji. It does not say anything about translucent, all right? So, again, you save yourself a headache. Although, with these guys, you, you know, tell you one thing. They stopped giving us the gold licensing sticker, which had the year, okay, of release. This doesn't have it, okay, that's in, printed in with the label. That's something new. 
that just recently started happening. And then right here, as you can see, giant translucent Desu. It's the same size, even though the figure is huge, bigger than the regular guys, same size header. But the difference here is that it says giant Desu. So that's not too much of a problem. But I have two Desus now with the same Vinyl Wars header. Okay, so that goes to him. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Like I said, it was just an update video. Um, if you guys are interested in acquiring some of these guys, um, I believe Vampire Robots has them right now. Michael James Bond might have them. Go ahead and check out the Godzilla Collectors Group, Club Tokyo, um, Godzilla and Ultraman Collecting, uh, the Godzilla Collectors Club. Check out these, these places and you can get in contact with either Mike Johnson, like I said, Michael Tchaikovsky of Vampire Robots, and um, Michael James Bond. The Vampire Robots does in fact have a, a website that you can hit up. If you're looking for any other kaiju, vinyl-wise, I would suggest hitting up Vinyl Kaiju Legion. Very awesome, very epic. James Osborne is the runner of that. And he's a great guy, super epic dude. And he also does custom figures. He has painted figures that he's made himself or, or painted himself and they're super righteous. Check them out, Vinyl Kaiju Legion again. And again, you know, take care of yourselves, take care of your figures, keep the Kaiju faith alive. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys in. A little closer look. Different shots here. Very epic Desu Gojis. James Hartman. That guy has a sick collection when it comes to Desu Gojis. One of these days I'm gonna grow up to be like you, brother. Again, leave you guys with this shot of this guy right here. See you guys in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Look forward to doing more of these videos for you guys. Take care. Goodbye.